Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 5 of Langrisser, and uh, YOLO. Here we go. Oh, this is a big map. Oh, we need to change positions. You re- I don't want you in the forest. You swap with Volkov. You're fine. You shouldn't ever put horsemen in forests. It's just not good- good eats. Spearmen for you. You- we're gonna get troopers for you, because you're already on horseback. That matches. Monks, elves... Ah, it's a tough choice, but I think I'm gonna stick with monks for her for now. Definitely harpies for you, because they're just stupid strong. Soldiers for you. Good. Okay, so what's the situation here? You all look like people who joined me. <laughs> yeah. Great for us. Stay alive. I have we has anyone other than the bandits died in this game so far? Honestly, I don't remember. Lance is defeated, Ledin is defeated, so pretty much anything else goes. Alright, that's fairly nice. Now, this says impassable, but does that count for flying people? No, it does not. Good. Alright, so we'll just throw her here. Uh, can we loop through and have an ambush with Volkov? Theoretically, yes. Yes, we can. Alright, so we're gonna do that. I... Okay, that's great for you. Not sure why that came up right then and there, but okay, can she... Okay, so there are some mountains we can pass and some we cannot. Alright, so she's going to go on ahead and stick with Ledin, because I'm assuming she can heal. And he can too, so that'll be my vanguard. And then we're gonna send out Thorn as an advanced strike force. He'll eventually pass Ledin by, I'm not worried about it. And then I'm going to send Narm through the mountains, and theoretically, she and Thorn should reach the bridges at roughly the same time, and I can do a nice pincer attack, and then when the enemy's receiving their reinforcements, Ledin and Chris should be showing up at approximately the same time. Isn't the west and the left the same from your perspective? What? I mean, that is good strategy on his part, being, you know, keeping his back to adjust according to what I do. That's not the left, that's the right, but... Well, I suppose from her perspective, it's her left. So that's fair enough. He's keeping a core, uh, mobile unit. I could send Narm to do that. Theoretically. Uh, hold on. Can he cut through? He could, but it would be pretty narrow. Pretty sure he can't go through water either, so we're just gonna have him do this. Okay, we're gonna have to move. She needs to, at least to some extent, keep up, so we're gonna have to run him up here. That's fine. Her monks will catch up, it's fine. And you? No, you can't. And then I'll just send Volkov down here to flank them. With very little difficulty, because whatever he encounters is pretty much just dead meat. The guy is OP. Also, out of everyone, not only is he strong enough to be able to theoretically handle both squads, but he's also got more soldiers to do so as well, so he doesn't have quite as bad of a numbers disadvantage as any other squad that I've got. So he's probably the best choice for going down this path anyways. Because other than Narm, getting reinforcements to him is going to be pretty difficult anyways. Besides, these horsemen that they've got are badly outpacing their uh, infantry, 
which is generally not what you want to see happen. Okay, it looks like because of Leden's just baseline uh, point of start, which is the weirdest way I've put something in my life, but you know what I mean, uh, he's going to be rather aggressively keeping up with Thorn. We're going to send her north, and I want to do a flank here. You can keep on going over here. I'm not worried about it. I should be able to eliminate Letitia before her reinforcements arrive, in theory. Okay, I think we're going to join in battle pretty soon. Yeah. On my turn, so I get first strike, which is pretty useful. I'm not sure Volkov will be able to strike first. Okay, he's going down for Volkov. This does concern me. Alright, I'm going to have to send Narmin's reinforcements then. Uh, he's not going to be able to take on all three units, I don't think. Even as strong as he is, I don't think he's strong enough to take on all three. Let me really quickly run a check of their levels. 14. 4. 10. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that that wouldn't happen. So we're going to go on ahead and send him reinforcements. I'm aware that I have the disadvantage because they are on horseback. I just don't care at this point in time. I really don't see this as a huge problem. Hold on. I would like to... Okay, that's definitely not happening. Fair enough. We're going to have him move north because it's going to give my units a bit more room to maneuver. We're going to go ahead and finish this guy off, which will reduce their numbers even more. That worked out very well. We can... This, I'm going to just test this, but it's probably a terrible idea. It's an atrocious idea, actually. We're not doing that. That is horrific. Now, from the forest... Okay. Increased defense, less accuracy. That's that's fine. We're going to go ahead and manually position them. Oh, I don't care where these two go then. This doesn't matter where they're going to wind up. She needs to move over here to intercept. You're going to move up here very specifically to get that item really quick. The rest of the harpies, I don't care where they go. Uh, do we start with Thorn first, or do we leave Let It Me? We should probably lead with Leaden. Ah, uh, no, that's... We should lead with you, Lance. Thorn, whatever your name is. That seems like it's the better move here, but wait, hold on. You could just blast him with some magic ahead of time. Throw let it in there. That might be the move. Let's try that. How good is this? Eh. Not bad. You have heal, so I'm not too concerned if you get slapped around a little bit. He takes a lot of damage from that, but he'll be relatively surrounded, so I'm not that concerned about it. No, not bad, not bad. Spearmen away. So Spearmen have an advantage against Horsemen, which is fairly understandable. That's pretty historically accurate. It's the swords versus Horsemen that's an issue. That's fine. I was hoping they could get past and attack this guy up here, but that is clearly not going to happen. Uh, we're going to go on ahead and just establish a perimeter around Ledin really quick. We're going to do the same thing for Thorn here with his troop. I'm not even sure I need to manually... Uh, we'll move him up here just as a... Uh, just to keep things a little aggressive here. She's going to move up so that way she can cast magic heal uh, Ledin as needed. This should be good. Alright. 
They'll probably do some more damage to Lenny, I'm not worried about it. That, that was good. I'm trying to eliminate the spearmen, so that way if I, if the spearmen get through the rest of the cavalry, they're in some pretty deep waters. Perfect, okay. Nice. Excellent. The infantry are about to come in, that's going to be a bit of a concern. This is also not good for me. I, really, I kind of figured that soldier would have a rough time. He's going to just die. Again, this is a problem of soldiers versus cavalry, which is definitely to their disadvantage. Okay, he's engaging with Narm. I'm kind of curious what that matchup looks like. She shouldn't have... Uh, no, she's grossly underleveled compared to him, though, isn't she? Hmm. Could be an issue here. Uh, let's address Narm really quick. She's at 6. He's at, what, 14? Yeah. That is a massive difference here. Oh, yeah, she would die. She's not winning that fight. Not in a 1v1. All right, so what we're going to do is duck back into the mountains where he can't pursue, and she's just going to go down here and back up Volkov, which is what I wanted to do with her originally. I'm just going to have her rendezvous with him because I don't want them fighting Lance alone. Alright, now we're going to have to bring in... Uh, hold up. He has to attack Matisha because he's the only one of his squad that's going to be able to handle her. And that's purely by dint of his massive level advantage. Okay, now... That's still quite an unpleasant conflict right there but I really don't have a major choice in the matter because I have to eliminate these cavalry sooner rather than later before they start to do just unholy amounts of damage to me. And right now we're trading fairly evenly. Actually, let's go on ahead and move you here. Attack this Lancer really quick. Let's see what we can do with these. Can we actually eliminate... I, I doubt this would go very well. Yeah, that's atrocious. It has to be Volkov. Alright, let's see what we can do then with the remaining infantry that I've got over here while he waits for Narm's reinforcements. I just basically need him to stall out. He'll be fine against the enemy soldiers. It's just these cavalry that he's having an issue with. I suppose I should just be grateful that I was fighting him in a forest. Could have been worse. Alright, up here. Okay, so that's easy. We're gonna go on ahead up here. We're gonna hit you. We're gonna hit you hard. Because I want to clear the way for Thorn to just steamroll the enemy infantry. Alright, we're gonna go on ahead and slap you here. Good. Okay, good. This clears the way for Thorn to absolutely stomp face. Yes, you will. I mean, that's about the only answer to that you can really provide. Not bad, not bad. Mostly it's a defensive advantage, eh? Oh, well, that... Okay. That kind of sucked for movement, but sure. Go ahead and stomp you. Okay, beautiful job, beautiful job. Let's bring up this soldier here to finish that job off. That way I don't have to waste another Lancer on cleaning up 30 HP here. When the Spearman can do just just fine job. 
What level are you? You're level 8, so Lead needs the experience a little bit more anyways, so that's fine. We're gonna go on ahead and keep you down, make sure you can't hit anyone else decently hard. Bring you... Uh, no, we're gonna bring you right here because that keeps you in his range. Same with you. We're just gonna move you here. The monks will move according. That's fine. We've won on this front. Now it's a matter of them joining with the rest of the group. Alright, yeah, she's, what she's gonna try to do at this point is sacrifice herself to take down as many of Volkov's soldiers as possible. Because she's not gonna survive the fight. Oh, no, no, no. She's trying to just stall. Okay, that's fair enough. That soldier's probably to. I'm impressed you climbed that mountain. Yeah, that's, that's about my response. He's gonna decimate this poor harpy. Nope, that did not go as badly as I thought it was going to go. It still did not go in the Harpy's favor, don't get me wrong, but it was not as bad. Why did that go worse? What? Why did he do worse than his own soldier? You heal? I'm just glad you didn't heal, uh, Vegeta, or whatever her name is. Uh, that's, I mean, nice, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna have to have Volkov just finish off... Letitia over here. I think that's her name. Isn't that her name? I'm gonna have to double check. I can't remember. I'm impressed his soldiers survived that long. Yes. Your healing yourself probably is a last ditch effort to stall me out further, which makes sense. That, that you're just asking to die here. I don't know why you did that. That was poorly thought out, but sure. Why couldn't you just heal him while you were over here? What is that nonsense? Alright, let's see what we can do with this guy. Yeah, I have a disadvantage against these guys, because swords versus spears. Yep, that's fine. Um, We're going ahead and steamroll these people. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Good. Hold on. You can access them. That's fine. Okay, you can go around that way, too. Okay, perfect. So we're going to move you here. We're going to attack you here. Just get going some additional experience on the side here. Can you clean him up? No, you can't. Fair enough. Alright. We'll go ahead and mop you up. Perfect. And that'll finish off this unit. This is what I wanted. I will allow Leden's unit to regroup. You know, that is an interesting thing, though. The soldiers, they're just... A lot of them are just in it because that's kind of... You know, it's their country. What else are they going to do, you know? Okay, she needs to get out of Dodge. She needs to get out of the Dodge yesterday. Uh, the, that means even fight. That's fine. We're going to go in ahead and curb stomp this game. Because I need an arm to get away from Lance, so Volkov can come around and kick his rear end in. Oh, speaking of Volkov, he needs to finish off Letitia. It is... It, it technically it's pronounced Letitia, according to that uh, spelling. She survived. Alright, we're gonna have to... You... Uh, we cannot let you survive another turn. That is too much trouble. That is a threat 
We need you gone so that way Volkov and his unit can start focusing on the Imperial Guard guy. Okay. Now that that's all done with... Oh, hold up. You're in range. That's a fairly ugly fight, but you have the benefit of Volkov being nearby. I'm not sure this guy is in range of his commander. So now we're going to send him up and theoretically not finish him off. Alright. How about you? No, we're just... Okay, that's fine. Just you throw bodies at the problem. <laughs> what else am I going to do? Uh, we're going to go on ahead and... What would this be? No, that would be okay. We're going to go ahead and do this. Go on the attack here. That worked out okay. Yeah, 22 to 39. That's fine. We need to get these harpies away from Lance over here. Okay, she's in range. That's good. Can you... You cannot attack that soldier. That's fine. We're just going to get you out of... Out of Lance's range. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about the monks. I'm using uh, Chris primarily as a healer, so it's not really that big of a deal. Volkov's unit is going to take some some losses here. It, it, at some point, in, uh, I can't speak today. At some point in the very near future, it's just going to be down to Volkov representing his unit. Oh, he's turtling up. That's what he's doing. Okay. He's digging in. Because he wants to stall. Probably a smart move. Alright, let's see what we can do with that. Uh, first, let's move these guys. Again, we're gonna... Hold on. We're gonna throw Lance ahead. That's fine. They'll all be fine. Let's see if we can't something with these soldiers really quick. Finish him off. Okay, good. Now what I'm going to do is roll Narman here so she can heal those two. She's going to take out these guys and clear the way for Volkov to wipe out the Imperial officer if I need him to. Or not. I guess no. Okay, this harpy's gonna come around here then. Good. Excellent. Finish this guy off, and then Volkov has access to the Imperial Officer. Because I really don't think his soldiers are in any good condition to fight him. No, they're not going to do that. That is not going to happen. We're just going to throw him here. We're going to bust this out. And we'll use his soldiers to finish the Imperial Officer off. He's only got one more unit. I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, we'll throw... Oh, you can go around. Alright, we're going to have you go around and see... Yep, there we go. Come on. There you go. There you go. All right, that's going to prep these two for Lance incoming. Okay, so when Lance does show up, these two will be able to combine forces and deal with that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right. I love it when a plan comes together. They're going to heal. That's important. So those guys are going to heal as well. Also important. Here comes Lance. Okay, what I'm going to do is throw Volkov at him first. Because Volkov is going to be able to handle that increased damage potential here. I'm assuming all of his soldiers can get to him, right? Yeah. Yep, that's not a concern. And I'm going to have her establish... Um, We'll establish right behind. I think that'll be best. Thorn keeps on going. 
Leaden keeps on going. Chris keeps on going. That's fine. This is what I wanted. Volkov took a lot more damage from that than I was expecting, though, I'll be honest. That went a lot better, but he has the terrain disadvantage, so... Okay. This is gonna get fairly interesting. Oh, Volkov is in danger! Alright. That's interesting. So... Ah, uh, Harpies are even with Cavalry. Alright, then we're gonna have to bring Narmin to really bring some damage in here and help out. Can he finish this guy off? Not even remotely. Alright. Here, we'll actually use this more damage Harpy on this side. She should be able to take him out. She can't. Shoot. Okay. We're just not finishing him off. She could do it, but I kind of feel like I need her to... Well, you can do it, actually, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that because I have him in front Lance right now. He's going to die, so I want to stall that out a little bit. Okay. Here. Throw this guy at the problem. There we go. Finally. We're gonna have to move Narm in for some damage here. So that way we can start paring down the Lance. What I'm gonna have to do is eliminate his unit and then section him off. Otherwise, I don't think I win this little conflict here. Good. And I can fly another Harpy around, I think, this one. Yes. Take him out. Good. Now, if this harpy engaged with Lance, it probably dies. Alright, so what we're going to do is move this harpy here and attack this guy. That's to her disadvantage, but she'll last long enough to keep some enemies off of Volkov. Which is what I need right now. Thorn really needs to get there. Okay, let's see how this goes. This should be interesting. Bardia's <laughs> Anto Domo, Zayven Tanosmasa de Kreru. I really have to talk to more people than Volkov. He's my crutch character. Okay, that was close. He survived, though, which is the important thing. Okay. We're in an okay position. This harpy dies, obviously. I was expecting that. That's fine. Now comes the interesting question. That's wonderful. Not sure what that is, but lovely. Can you actually heal Volkov? You can't. We're gonna have to do it. We really don't have much of a choice here. That wasn't bad.
if you fought this guy, you would come really close to death. <sighs> Sketchy prospect indeed. Don't really have much of a choice though. Lance, Lance hit harder than I was anticipating. I cut that real damn close. Okay. We're just trying to throw bodies at Lance at this point. That was abnormally effective. What the hell was that? Hello? Uh, I think Volkov dies. But we'll find out. <coughs> Alright. Let's see. That was pathetically bad. Let's see how the enemy's turn goes. I also want to see if this game has permadeath. Let's find out. We use the crutch character to find out if there's permadeath. That's that strategy right there for you. I cannot believe he attacked this harpy instead of Volkov. That's a decision. Huh. Alright, let's see if we can't do something with this. Yes, indeed we can. I told you, the AI for this is deranged. She actually beat him. Nice. She gets huge experience boost. Yeah, that is a ridiculous amount of experience she just got. I cannot believe that. I'll take it, but damn. Dumb luck. That is that is dumb luck right there. Now we're out in the middle of this field. Hmm? I accidentally skipped that. I apologize. Did you just teleport? Oh, my crutch character dies. I mean, he only had one HP anyways, so... No, they, he's not all right. He dies. It's what crutch characters do. That's a shame. He was carrying me hard. I'm glad I was leveling up other people at the same time, though. Also, is he like the first real casualty of the game? Like, besides the bandits? Yeah. Obtain zero gold. Good for you, Narm. Is he really gone? He is really gone. Alright. Well, that's the end of Volkov. Sure. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Did we did he did we lose his items? No, okay, we still have his items. That's she just has a great sword. We don't need you don't need a great sword. No 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 no. Take that off. You don't need that. The large shield you probably should have. I'll I'll give you that one. You you probably should have that. By the way, did I just forget to equip a great sword to somebody? Oh uh, well. Well that I'm not terribly surprised. I was kind of assuming something like that would happen. I didn't expect a poison arrow. I thought it was just gonna take a fatal wound or something in battle or, or retire or something. So that was a nice little plot twist there, but uh, yeah. With that being said, thank you all very much for joining me. If you like this, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, please ignore me. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, ideas, suggestions, requests, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you think Volkov dying on the one map that he had 1 HP on and you think that's karma, 
<laughs> you might be right. <laughs> we'll talk about timing. Perfect timing. I mean, he even had the 1 HP in the cutscene thing there. That was just funny. Anyways, uh, I have this impeccable sense of timing, so thank you all very much for joining me, and uh, yeah, have a great 24 hours.